Operation Zebra, interlapse removed. Awaiting orders, sir. System. Connection to high velocity cannon system complete. Enemy photon torpedo on the port side. Impact imminent. The shield is still holding. Man, all we were doing was investigating the scene. You think they could just leave us alone? Match course and speed. Course and speed modified. Ready to fire. Ship has begun its retreat. <sighs> It'd be nice if we could just let him go. But we can't do that. We can't. Shelly, give him a little nudge. And when he says a little nudge, you know what that means. Set engines to ramming speed. Penetrate the port side and prepare for combat. Transmitting. They've already entered the manual override code. The partitions are being deleted. Hurry up and start your transmission. Roger. You just clear your head out and wait for me. I tell you. Being able to interlink with your sister has got real convenient. I wouldn't say that. She has so many random thoughts. I can't help it. We're humans, not realians. You can telepathically talk to the Kaiser, right, little master? That sounds a lot more convenient to me. You don't need this annoying contraption either. Not really. I have to constantly make sure I watch what I'm thinking. Or else I start sending thoughts I don't want to send. The whole thing's just as tiring as hell. It'd be easier just to write him a letter. Oh, I didn't know it was like that. Yep, that's how it is. You okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm all right, but look what you did. Oh. I'm sorry to say that all data from the enemy mainframe has been lost. Oh, oops. It's because of all those cheesy action flicks you keep on watching. They 
we've launched a lifeboat. Shall we pursue? Nah, no need to pursue them that far. We just need to know where they're headed. Place a trace request with the UMN Administration Bureau. Let's head back. Hurry up with the retrieval preparations on board the Durandal. All hands, check your equipment. Don't leave any evidence behind. Amazing. I can't believe how much his personality changes when he's holding a gun. A lust for conquest and absolute power, and the desire to have a really big gun. I suppose that'd be the standard explanation. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you, Shelly? Although, in Little Master's case, it's probably just a complex about his height. <laughs> probably, but I think Little Master's plenty attractive just the way he is. <sighs> True. Mary, we'll be leaving in two minutes. Hurry back, okay? Roger. It's a shame. Little Master doesn't have any choice in the matter but to stay that size.